piggy in the middle. We are off to the airport. Got mummy here. So you excited tidy, for though. Copenhagen? Very excited. He must have done that himself. Very excited. Mark. Got Marcus yeah. over here. He's really? actually not driving for a change today. Is it quite nice baby sitting in the yeah, back? Rather nice. Rather nice. Got daddy in the front. Daddy, say hi to all my YouTubers. Hi here. there, guys. Hello. And we've got John the love of our lives over here, who's driving us to the airport. Right, this is all quite civilized. No one's screaming, no one's crying, and we are off to Heathrow. Just having a little browse, taking Marcus into Cartier, trying to give him a hint, 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 hint. <laughs> what I would like for our anniversary. <gasps> so gorgeous. Oh wow. So this in fact this is all we ate in Panama. Patacones, it's plantain that has been smashed, sliced and deep fried. Right. This is finger food. Thank you. He understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is finger food, so don't be afraid to just dip it in our sauces. Both of them Japanese mayo based. Salsa verde, the green one comes with coriander, cumin and a little bit of spring onion and jalapeno. The yellow one comes with uh, yellow chili pepper and lime. Please taste yellow it and tell me which ones you prefer. Yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here salmon tataki and sea bream ceviche. Wow. The sea bream ceviche, by definition, the ceviche is raw fish. In this case, it's marinated between five and eight minutes in leche de tigre. Leche de tigre is with lime, lemon and bitter orange. It comes with a little bit of mango, a little bit of sweet potato and coriander. The salmon tataki. Tataki by... Um, it's a Japanese technique that it's slightly blowtorched and comes with chili lemongrass, marinated papaya and passion fruit in a bed of jalapeno. I suggest you scrape all the juices out of that because they are the most delicious part. We have scallops and blue mussels in a suado sauce. Suado, it's uh, basically it's a miso soup with a little bit of katsuguchi, which is bonito fish stock, and ginger, all mixed up, but with a specialty from Latin America, three different chili peppers. South American beef street wine marinated in anti cuchara sauce. Uh, which is olive oil based, panca chili, which is the chili more to the sweet side, not uh, as spicy as the others. It's like quinoa salad as uh, uh, fresh mango, avocado, lotus root chips, uh, mesclum, which is a mix of uh, greens, uh, vegetables, and also ponzu dressing and sesame oil. Ladies and gentlemen, we have durok pork with smoked eel and kazami wasabi uh, in a bed of mixed beans, purple potatoes and dashi cream. Thank dashi you. cream is a reduction of white wine. And finally we have the pudding. They call this the grandma dessert. How good is that? Cameron, what do they call it? This? The Don Leche dessert. We have decided to come out this morning and go for a little walk and have a little look around Copenhagen. We are just actually on Strogert Street? Definitely said that incorrectly, but anywho, we're just having a really lovely time walking around, looking at the architecture, the shops. We have, however, found ourselves in the luxury shop section. There's a surprise. <laughs> 
<laughs> literally so we're just having a nice little perusal this morning and then I'm back off to the hotel because I'll need to get ready for the wedding we went to the drinks reception last night which was so lovely they just put on a welcome for everybody to say hi and um, it's actually quite mild today it's slightly overcast which I think is going to be perfect for the wedding in the Tivoli Gardens and also in terms of photography guys it will be beautiful for their wedding photographs I'm so looking forward to that you I think it's going to be beautiful it's a busy morning here in the square at Copenhagen but look at the architecture isn't that beautiful gosh look at the copper it's just stunning to tell you guys what this is <laughs> I think I might have to do a bit of a Google and leave it in the description link below but how beautiful is this it's all a, a mosaic all hand pieced together it's absolutely incredible so the Magazine de Nord is apparently Harvey Nicks on steroids so we're gonna go and have a little mooch around Alan is kindly taking us through the Tivoli Gardens over to the wedding. Gosh, it is absolutely beautiful here. This is this exquisite venue, beautiful floral displays. It is just beautiful, my goodness. I love my eyes. I actually want I'm... to see what it looks like. <laughs> Can I have it? Such a creative. <laughs> We're walking out of the Tivoli Gardens. What a night. Daddy, what did you think what of the wedding? Amazing. Quite amazing. Great fun. Lovely people. Day three wedding. I think we're all a bit broken, but we're ready for another gorgeous lunch in the Tivoli Gardens. Feeling a little bit worse for We probably do wear. need a picture of you girls dancing on that stage later. Uh, no. Thank you, but no. It's fabulous. How am I meant to get on it? I'll give you a leg up. <laughs> We are at a super traditional Copenhagen restaurant, all having enormous jugs of beer. I hope it's going to make us feel slightly better. Um, Tommy's nursing a Coca-Cola. She's definitely worse for wear this morning. We have a uh, quiet place. 
Pickle salmon yeah. with this beautiful sauce to it. Okay. Here you have chicken salad, Danish style, with lots of bacon, meatballs. For that, you have the cucumber salad. And then, <laughs> then you have the roasted pork, and this is the most delicious Crackling. red cabbage underneath. And at the least, you have the cheese with a little cucumber. Wonderful. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very much. Just to show you guys a little bit of the Nim Hotel, it is absolutely beautiful. Look at the beautiful garden. Oh, it's the bumblebee on the echinacea. They're beautiful. They're such a different color. My goodness, it is absolutely stunning. Butterflies. This is a terrible, terrible idea after lunch and a three day wedding. Oh my gosh. I may vomit, which will not be <laughs> very ladylike on you. Oh gosh, Sarah Jane, I'm really not sure about this. What have I got myself go into? Let's go nice. on a boat. Oh, that looks a lot more civilized. That looks like more me. This is definitely a terrible idea. After a three day wedding, we are just about to go on this enormous ride. It's very quick and it's very scary, so I don't actually think I'm going to be able to take my camera. I might end up smashing it. Jay in the face. Well, she probably vomits on me. I don't really throw up. <laughs> oh gosh, wish us luck. Come for a little bit of a look around and some sightseeing and look at how incredible this fountain is it's so clean and so beautiful but the funny thing is it's right next door to what they call the English church and look it really does look like a traditional English church absolutely beautiful for their yachts so no one falls out before they go away together. <laughs> I think that's very nice. This is the famous Little Mermaid here in Copenhagen. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Marble Church. My goodness me, look at that. It's about 400 years old and it was built by the king and he started off by building it solidly Marble until he unfortunately ran out of money and they stopped the build for about a year and the next king who came along finished the marble church but in sandstone so it's actually in fact a marble and sandstone church my goodness is it beautiful
it has been absolutely Lovely. incredible gosh there's so much history here in Copenhagen and it's such a beautiful city so clean and vibrant and there's so much to see We are back home and on English soil and I am taking the dogs quickly around the garden before a very, very busy day. And I just wanted to show you the herbaceous waters. They have absolutely exploded with color and I thought I would do a very quick walk around to show you the beautiful flowers that have come into bloom. Starting with the beautiful Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate. I I simply cannot get over that name. It is just fabulous. And then the beautiful garden flocks. We have it in whites and purples and pinks all throughout the borders. And then we have the gorgeous Budlia up here, which is a dark, rich purple color. It attracts the butterflies. And I love to have different highs and lows. It really creates diversity within the borders. And then as we walk up, here we have the beautiful pergola which was full of pink roses you can see the last little little spray roses up there and look at how fantastic this really is a room some evenings we lay the table and we actually have dinner out here which is just simply gorgeous and then we have different types of garden flocks. So we have the beautiful white. There is a very, very pale blush color going into this beautiful purple and then into the pinks. It's just simply exquisite. We have the beautiful erigerum that just seems to have exploded and we planted it throughout the York stone with herbs. And it's just so beautiful. We have our fountain. And then this is just full of color. There are just so many different flowers in this part of the garden. Look at those dusky pink roses. And then we have our planters, full of color, vibrant, beautiful pinks and purples. It's just stunning. And then we have the Rose of Sharon here, which is a beautiful purple and into some more hydrangeas, some pale pink hydrangeas. Actually, they were planted last year for the wedding. But wait until a little bit later in this vlog and you will see some truly spectacular hydrangeas. Now let's pop into the orchard and I will show you what has flourished in there. Oh, look at the hollyhocks, it's beautiful. Oh, Mr. B busy at work in there. My goodness, look at the pollen that he has on his little tail. It does actually look like a wasp, but I'm sure that it's a baby bee, if that's what he's doing. Oh, hmm. And then let's go through to the orchard. There are so many trees in here and so many different fruits. I can't even begin to tell you. We have apples, we have plums, cherries. We have, I'm not even sure what these are, but my goodness, look at the abundance on this tree. Just amazing. We have quince trees. We have so many. Look, look at this one. I always am a little bit skeptical of trying a few of these, but we do have lots of apple trees and plum trees. So many cherry trees. Right, let's go on a little bit of a plum hunt. This is a beautiful quince tree. Look at those. And once a year we make quince jelly, which is absolutely delicious. This is something we bought a few years before the wedding. We always thought that we would have a few wedding photographs in the pergola and the roses of the wedding was absolutely spectacular. We have actually 
pruned those back quite a lot so hopefully next year it will be absolutely beautiful but we also have jasmine growing throughout the pergola too so the smell is heavenly right let's keep hunting we've got apples down here my goodness i need to come and collect these apples <gasps> we're going to have some apple crumble soon oh i love that time of year You may notice lots of different little piggies throughout our orchard. So my niece is absolutely obsessed with pigs and we always do a little bit of a pig hunt through the orchard when she comes to visit us. And so you'll see throughout the orchard so many different little piggies um, and they're so sweet. Some have sombrero hats on, some of them are by the fruit trees. Yes, it is rather funny, but so sweet. So this is our cherry tree. And look, unfortunately, the cherries are over. God, that's so sad. Oh my goodness me. But we did make some black cherry jam, so hopefully we'll be able to enjoy that soon. This is a very young pear tree. Oh, look at that. We still have the stakes on to ensure that it grows straight, but my goodness me, look at those pears on there. I cannot wait to try those. Here we have another tree. They also look like pears, but let's have a look at what it says. Fruits with a bronze green skin, large avoid wrinkles. The pulp is white, sweet and melting, and it matures mid-September. <gasps> look at those. They are so sweet. Gosh, and look at how well he is growing. This is such a wonderful spot in the orchard. It overlooks. <laughs> another little Mr. Piggy. It overlooks the orchard and it's just such a wonderful light at this time of day. Again, more apples. I cannot even tell you. The abundance of apples in this orchard is utterly ridiculous. Anybody needs any apples, please let me know. We have far too many. The hunt for plums is over. Look at these. Oh, don't they look absolutely delicious? That one feels a little bit hard. Let's see if we can find one that is ready for eating. I think these, this one here looks like a winner. Oh, yes. Look at that, baby. Mm, my goodness me. Right, let's try it. Oh, look at the color inside. So it's still quite sharp absolutely delicious they probably need one more week oh no those ones don't right how on earth am I gonna get these okay we're gonna have to have a little bit of a jump let's oh, okay they are still quite hard actually oh my goodness that one is so sweet it's delicious gosh look at this over here so many plums this is what is so special in this orchard. There's just so many things and the animals in here, the squirrels, the birds, the dogs, everybody loves it here in the orchard. Another Mr. Piggy. Hmm? So as you can see, it is a little bit crispy out here as we've had no rain and such beautiful weather, but the trees are watered on a daily basis. So thank goodness for that and I'm on the hunt for more plums. Have lots of red berry trees. I know they're poisonous, but they are beautiful. There are just so many beautiful spots here in the orchard. My goodness, an enormous apple tree. Look at all of these apples. Oh, just glorious. This sunshine in the UK at the moment is just so beautiful. I wake up with a completely different perspective. I'm so positive and motivated to have such a great day. I found another plum tree. So this is a different type of plum. So as you can see, these ones are still slightly green. But this one here looks like it is oh, ready. Look at the color. Right. Oh my goodness me. It is so sweet. 
and absolutely delicious my goodness me let's try and pick another one. Oh, these up here look juicy right let's have another little bit of a jump <laughs> hold on <laughs> oh gosh this is where i should have brought my little ladder that i have oh look at that color mm, so juicy <coughs> slightly choking I think I've had enough plumps for one day. I definitely think I just ate a worm. Oh my gosh, that was genuinely revolting. Oh, <laughs> country girl problems. Eating plums around the orchard with mm, lovely insects in inside them. Oh, lovely bit of protein for the morning. Oh, look at these borders. How beautiful. Oh, Mr. Bumblebee. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness me, the abundance of colour. My goodness me. Look at that. Purples, pinks, lots of reds. This is commonly known as the Valentine flower. I love the rich colour and I think it really looks fantastic against all the different colours and the whites throughout the borders. I've just popped back into the orchard to just walk a different way to show you the beautiful hydrangeas in a moment. There's another little piggy. This one has a little hat on. <laughs> just so sweet. And when the grass is long, you can see them just poking out. And this is where it is truly breathtaking. Look at these enormous Annabelle hydrangeas. Are they not absolutely spectacular? My goodness me. Please excuse the noise. The farmer next door is harvesting his crop. But aren't they absolutely enormous? They're almost as tall as I am. My goodness me. Probably spot another little piggy up there. <laughs> Gosh, aren't they incredible? Last year they weren't as tall as this, but this year they've just erupted and there's still so many heads to come. Annabelle hydrangeas is definitely something that you look at that just makes you smile. They are so beautiful. The bumblebees love them, the butterflies love them, and they are so, so beautiful. We also have some pink, a little bit more white. Gosh. And here we have the bright pink hydrangeas. They are doing so well. We've got greens, pinks, whites. They are so beautiful. And then leading through to the little water feature that has all the water lilies. This is also such a special spot in the garden. This tree is truly exceptional. I have no idea how many hundreds of years old it must be, but it really is just a focal point in our garden. We plant the most beautiful flowers around it. We have the water feature here and it has water lilies. There have been a few that have bloomed. I don't think any are out at the moment. Oh, look, there's one, there's one. Little water lily, I'm not sure whether you can see that. The white one at the back there. They are so beautiful when they bloom. And then everything else are sort of vibrant pinks, purples, whites, yellows, reds. There's so much in this garden. It's hard to show you in one vlog. <laughs> My goodness me, this piggy is seriously hiding. <laughs> There's another little one in there. Hi, little Mr. Piggy. <laughs> then we have some echinacea here. I'm loving the color, purple. Then we have some beautiful echinacea here, which is just simply stunning. <gasps> Talking about stunning people. Hi, my beauties. <laughs> Come on then, let's go and have a quick look at the other hydrangeas on the back terrace. And then I think we're gonna have to save the rest of it until another vlog. Come on then, let's go.
just wanted to show you the beautiful hydrangeas here underneath the pergola. These are pots from the Italian pot terrace. I will tag them below because I get so many questions. But look at how spectacular they are. I'm loving the colour underneath. Odie, what do you think? What do you think, baby? <laughs> then we have this one. This one is slightly ahead, so you can see the colour. Look at that. I hope you can see. So it's white, but it's got this pink detailing around the petal. It's absolutely exquisite. If anybody was to ask me what my favourite colour is, this would have to be it. Sort of creams with a hint of pink. It's absolutely beautiful. And we have actually had the sprinklers on the main lawn. So, I mean, <laughs> what a contrast. The field with the ha-ha to the grass, the lawn. It's looking very green and very luscious. Come on then, babies! <laughs> My goodness me, these two play all day long. <gasps> what have you got? Have you got a leaf? Have you got a leaf? Hi, say hi to everybody. Look how much Lancelot is growing. He's so long. He's so much longer than Wiggy now. <laughs> Odie feels like he's left out. Go on then. Get him, Oates. Get him, Oates. Right, Mummy has got to get on. I'm so sorry, guys, but I'm going to have to cut our garden tour here and I will save a few of the other bits for another vlog. Enough yabbiting on. Let's go inside and get some work done. <laughs> 